What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Google has released a brand new feature on Gemini, which is gonna be very useful in our day-to-day -day life. This is an amazing feature called Scheduled Actions, something similar to modes and routines feature that we have on the Galaxy phones. This feature allows you to ask Gemini to execute a prompt at a specific time or on a recurring schedule, automating tasks like reminders, summaries, idea generation, or follow up information. Using modes and routines, we can automate the system related tasks. Whereas using Gemini scheduled actions, we can automate tasks to fetch information from the web, maybe from the existing database or the results of an ongoing event. Scheduled actions lets Gemini proactively perform tasks on your behalf, bridging the gap between reminders and AI assistance. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. But before we go ahead, if you want to know more about your devices, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Your likes will take this video to reach many more people. So I would really appreciate if you can hit that like button. Now let's dive that into the video. Now when I open Gemini application and tap on profile, now you'll be able to see this brand new option called Scheduled actions. When I tap on it, you will see some of the scheduled actions which are created by me. If you want to pause them, you can pause them right here. If you want to delete them, just tap on the three dot button and delete them. Now, let me tell you how to create a scheduled action. Now, scheduled action can be based on your daily or recurring tasks, or it can be based on one time or event based tasks. Now, for example, let's say you want to get daily email summary every day morning at 8 a.m. Then you can ask Gemini, create a scheduled action to give me a summary of my unread emails every morning at 8 a.m. Now it's gonna create a scheduled reminder. It says, got it, I will provide a summary of your unread emails every morning at 8 a.m. Ask me to edit or delete your scheduled action at any time. Now every day morning at 8 a.m., I will get a notification and when I tap on that notification, it will open up Gemini and it will give me the summary of all my unread emails right here on this page. Now let's take another example. Let's say you want morning briefing, then you can just say, create scheduled actions to provide a daily summary of my calendar, to-do list, and 100 emails for the day ahead. There you go. You can also say, now let's say weather and outfit suggestions. Create a scheduled action to give me the weather information update and outfit ideas based on my wardrobe every morning. Now let's say you want to get your financial reports. Maybe you want to know how much you have spent and you want to know it every weekend. Then you can say create scheduled action to get a summary of my weekly spending and send it to me every Sunday evening. Now let me give you some examples of one-time event-based tasks. Let's say if there is a sports match, maybe a cricket match or baseball match going on between two teams. And let's say you are not able to watch it live and you want to know the results of the game as soon as it finishes, then you can create a scheduled action to know the results as soon as the match finishes. Let's say you want to know who won the best picture at Oscars once the event is over, you can create a scheduled action for that as well. Let's say, Create scheduled action and tell me who won the best picture at the Oscars once the event is over. And you can see it says, I was unable to create the scheduled action because you have exceeded the limit for a scheduled prompts. If you'd like to uh, schedule this, please delete some of your existing scheduled actions. So it will allow us up to 10 scheduled actions. And if you have more, you need to go back here, tap on scheduled actions and delete the one that you don't need so that you can make room for uh, the new ones here. Now let me go back. Now you can also create scheduled actions for the travel time or let's say travel planning. Create a scheduled action and send me the driving time to Brigade Road from HSR layout at 4 p.m. today. There we go. It will tell me the driving time to Brigade Road from HSR layout at 4 p.m. today. Once the clock hits 4 p.m., I will get a notification and it is going to tell me the driving time to Brigade Road. This is how scheduled action works on the Google's Gemini and this is a brand new feature. Now there are a few limitations, one we already discussed that is up to 10 scheduled actions. 
The next limitation is this feature is available only for the Pro users. So you have to subscribe for Gemini Pro or let's say if you have bought the Galaxy S25 series recently, Samsung might have bundled uh, this uh, Pro version of Gemini. For the S25 series, you can make use of that. Currently, I have that six months free plan. Uh, I bought the Galaxy S25 series, but this is the S24 Ultra and I have logged in with the same account on which I have claimed that six months free uh, subscription plan. Apart from this, there's one more limitation that is location limitation if an action is location based it will use the location from where you first created the task and will not update if you move to a new location these are a few limitations which we have on gemini's new feature the scheduled action let me know what do you think about this feature would you prefer using this drop a comment and share your thoughts and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application volvers there are some amazing free and premium versions of the wallpaper paper go ahead check it out the link is in the description thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye